Hi, I'm Pete Stewart from Cyphers Magazine, and I'm here today to talk to you about a very unusual bike called the GOAT Race. Now, while this may look like a middling spec aluminium Ultegra bike, it's actually a very unusual, very unique, very impressive machine. And let me show you why. Mainly that's because it isn't at all what it seems. What may look like a bottle is in fact a large battery unit. What that battery unit powers, I'll demonstrate by pressing this button here. Alright, so what's happened there is that the Vivex Assist motor, which is based inside this seat tube here, has powered the crank axle using a bevel gear to generate rotations per minute for the bike without the input of the rider. Normally, this would be used with the input of the rider and adds 100 to 200 watts boost to whatever the force the rider is doing. Now, you probably have heard about this whole concept because it's been in the press a great deal related to motor doping. Um, both the 2015 Cyclocross World Championships um, infringement and last summer's French Amateur used the Vivex Assist system within a normal race bike to try and basically mechanically dope. Um, just to walk you through a bit how the system works. Now, while um, in this case we've got a main battery here, there can actually be an entirely hidden system which has the battery base in here. Um, so it's completely discreet. Now, a lot of people might say, why, what kind of company would make a hidden motor to be cheap with? Well, the answer is it isn't cheap with at all. It's entirely for use as an e-bike, but an e-bike that's discreet, an e-bike that isn't associated as a large e-bike, so people can ride with their partners, ride with their clubs, and be able to keep up with everyone knowing that you know it is an e-bike, but not having the visual association of it being an e-bike. And at the moment, this actually does sell very well all over Europe, and mainly to normal club riders, normal cyclists, using it for normal means. Now, just to talk you a little bit through how it works, this, when it turns around, will start to seek a certain RPM. In this case, it looks as though it's set to about 90 RPM, and it'll do whatever it can within its possible wattage to achieve and maintain that RPM. So when I apply the brakes, it's still achieving that same arc rotations per minute, that same cadence. When I release the brakes, it doesn't actually increase its cadence, it just tries to achieve the same perpetual cadence. But that means that whoever's using it, they have to train, set the cadence within the system, which is a complicated process, we can go through that another time, um, and then train themselves to find a cadence which the motor aids them at, but also they're, they're putting enough in that the motor is providing a useful amount of wattage assistance. If you simply tried to put this uphill and turn it on, uh, the motor would short out, it wouldn't start at all. Now, um, this is a really interesting concept, and we've had one of these a few years ago for tests. We've got one again, we're going to take it on the road in the next few weeks and do some practical testing with it. We look forward to showing you the results of that.